Brett was on a well-trodden path. Middle-class art schoolboys trying a bit of gender bending. But the dressing up also attracted another band from a very different background. The Manic Street Preachers were from a South Wales mining community which had been broken apart in the 80s. In just one generation, men's roles had changed completely. People would get redundancy and just spend their money getting pissed and bet in. It was just tragic, actually. The Manics' Nicky Wire found that one way to rebel was to put on girls' clothes. I was really close to my mum. Well, I'm my dad, but um, my mum won. Whenever I missed a day at school, I'd say, oh, I had a bad stomach, and I'd just sit on the bed with her, stealing her air spray and sitting at her dressing table, and dyeing my hair, stuff like that. I don't know, it was just really peaceful, and I guess we perhaps it was the first generation who could, could do that. It, I genuinely used to just really enjoy it. At the spiritual heart of the Mannix was Richie Edwards, forever the outsider, sensitive and troubled. Richie's sexuality in general was just really confused. I never, never got to the bottom of it, really. I think the band gave him maybe a lot of confidence and uh, opened um, his expression up. It allowed him to follow any path he wanted, really, in terms of just the way he could write, the way he could look. All of a sudden, it was a new world for him. The censorship of my skin is screaming inside and from within. The other thing with the Mannix was that they were so tough in their outlook. They were ambitious and they'd come from what they saw as a shithole. So you had that thing that you, you get with like gay guys in a small town. They had that toughness of like, fuck you. You probably haven't seen that in British music, I don't think, since the sweet. I think there was a sense, obviously, of, of rebellion against the very traditional area that I was growing up in. And it's just a statement to be different. I mean, you know, when you're 16, you just want to stand out. I feel much more comfortable wearing a dress anyway. And um, just for me and Richie, just felt natural being these two wingers, as we used to call ourselves. As the seeds of Britpop began to sprout, Suede and the Manic Street Preachers camped up looking for trouble. Rock music's a strange thing, you know. As soon as you go in your mum's bedroom, knit one of her diaphanous blouses and put it on, you are glamorous. To some extent, that's what rock glamour is. 